So what is a data set? Well, I have a couple of data sets here that are a little bit different. Um, so this is a data set. Uh, and it's a pretty simple one. It's what we would call a univariate data set. Here is the one variable. It says video game genre. And then there is a bunch of data below it about what types of genres uh, were seen in that data. Um, and collecting data could be a number of different things. Uh, so we'll have to come back to that later in the class. Um, the other data set looks like this. So this is not a univariate data set. This is a multivariate data set uh, where we have um, more than one variable. So in this case, we have uh, 11 variables. Uh, they are a mix of categorical and numeric variables. Um, uh, so this would be categorical, this would be categorical, and then we have numbers. So these are numeric variables. For the most part, these are discrete numeric variables, meaning that these are all coded as whole numbers. Um, so when you have non-whole numbers, again, we'll call those continuous variables. When there's decimals, these do have halves. Uh, the cargo line has some of halves. Um, um, but for the most part, these are discrete, continuous, or, or discrete, not continuous, um, numeric variables. Uh, and again, uh, you know, it doesn't mean they have to be discrete. It's just that they're coded as discrete. So it's it's how the the data is actually set up that matters. It's not the the nature of the variable because there's no reason miles per gallon couldn't be 18.123 miles per gallon, right? So you could have decimals on any of these. Uh, if you really wanted to. So anyway, those are both data sets. When we talk about the data set, again, we're talking about the whole thing. So the data set encompasses all of this. Um, and then all of them will be set up the same way where we'll have our variable names going across the top and then the actual data collected going down from the variable names. Um, and so these will be the data points or the observations. Uh, that's what we refer to them as. And you'll see that each row kind of collects um, a set of data points for each thing. So this is one car, the Acura MDX. And then uh, so we get the name of the car. And then it tells us what is that car's parent company. It's Honda. It has this miles per gallon, this length, this width. So the, so the rows have to all stay together uh, because they are all tied to you know typically whatever's in column a um, now if we go back to something like this again so if you're you know working at a GameStop and you're collecting uh, what types of video games you sold for the week uh, you know we sold a family game then we sold a, a role-playing game then we sold a shooter then we sold a sports game then an action game and so on and so forth um, you know this is a little bit simpler uh, data set where we're not tying these to anything it's just a running list of the, the type of games sold each time um, but again, the, ver the data set would be all of this, everything here. Um, and basically here, it's just comprised of the name of the variable being collected and the actual data of what was sold. And that's it. So when we're talking about data set, it'll be, each one will be in its own sheet. Um, and there will be variable names up top, data, and, um, the observations going down from them. And that's really all you need to know. Uh, and then the types of variables, I think that we'll, we'll talk about as well. So that's it.